Um, I used to cosplay a long time ago. I used to cosplay uh, 2011. What what year is it? It's 2024. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> so like a long time ago. I used to go to conventions. My favorite cosplay of the first cosplay I really ever did, I will show you. It's kind of embarrassing. So please do not judge me. Also, okay, not only is it embarrassing, but um, at the time, uh, maybe let me give you context. Okay, so, well, it shows my stomach. I never show my stomach. At the time, I grew up in a Mormon community, right? And in the Mormon community, like our swimsuits are one pieces. You don't show your stomach ever in Utah. Like it's really taboo and it's really bad. Um, at the time though, I was thinking like, when I did this cosplay, I was kind of thinking like that I was doing it for like my own self-confidence and I was doing it for like embracing myself, my, my, my body and myself, if that makes sense. So it's quite embarrassing, but I will show you this cosplay. I cosplayed as Goku. Yeah. So this was my first cosplay. I cosplayed as Goku. This is my first cosplay like 13 years ago. Um, it's really small. I can't make the image really big because it was a long time ago. So I guess the quality is really not good. So I love Dragon Ball Z. It was my favorite show growing up. Here's me with some action figures. These action figures right here, my friend actually sent them to me. They're really amazing. Who cares about Mormons thing? So I'm uncomfortable about this now because now I don't show my stomach. I wear one piece swimsuits and I don't feel comfortable wearing that stuff anymore. So that's why it's like even worse if that makes sense. Oh, oh, I made this. Okay, so I never went to prom or anything. And I had this kind of like envision, like I had this dream that I wanted to make a like, pr like a dress, like a super cute dress with this sequin. So this is made out of sequins. I made this myself and I wanted to put this on a dress and I did. I did. Let me show you. Um, this dress right here. Oh no, this is the back of the dress, not the front. So this dress right here, I put it on there and I like wanted to make this like really pretty dress with this sequin thing. Here's, so this was from one of my first streams. So I started streaming in like 2011, uh, 2012. And I love to show my Dragon Ball Z action figures off. So <laughs> this is like from one of my first streams. My green screen in the back was from, um, what's it called? I like took a, a green, like, I think it was a green, like, bed sheets from Walmart. And I just pinned them up with like thumbtacks behind me. I made this cosplay myself. I had like a sewing machine and stuff. I didn't realize it was... It was hard work. I didn't do the best of job, but I tried. I have a collection of Dragon Ball Z things. So like, here's my Dragon Ball Z blanket. I have this tradition where everywhere I would travel to, I would go to a store and I would buy one thing that's Dragon Ball Z related. So every time I went somewhere, like for example, I went to San Francisco and I got this Dragon Ball Z blanket. I went to uh, Las Vegas and I got this Dragon Ball Z beanie. And this is some of my collection. Here's another picture of me. Here's another picture. I got this really cool jacket. So this is another cosplay I did. I did a Vegeta cosplay. So I made this Saiyan armor myself. It was so much fun to make. Um, I tried to get this perfect, but because I was in hills in one cosplay and I wasn't in hills in the other cosplay, I couldn't line it up perfect. And oh man, people on the internet destroyed me over this picture, but I'm still happy with it. I'm not the best at Photoshop, but I tried. I cosplayed Gogeta. As you can tell, my Photoshop skills back then, I was very young. My Photoshop was very, very, very bad. Oh, someone Photoshopped this for me. So they Photoshopped me with the Kamehameha, which I thought was really cool. I went to Japan and in the mall in Japan, they had like this Dragon Ball Z world inside of a mall. And I got to meet Goku <laughs> and I did a Kamehameha with Goku. It was really fun. Here's me with my nerd glasses. So I've got this, uh, I think that's Super Saiyan, I think that's Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I can't tell. I can't remember who's on my shirt, but it says train like a Saiyan. 
And then... And then I look like a total dork. Look at me. I just got out of the gym. Looking like this. <laughs> looking like a... Looking like a dork. Here's another one. Where I'm wearing my Goku cosplay. You see my old... This Dragon Ball Z photo of uh, poster, my my dad got it for me when I was like 10 years old. Oh man, this this picture is pretty embarrassing though. We're just gonna hide this picture behind me. That one's too embarrassing. <laughs> to be honest, the uh, the Boombas are like a, a push-up bra. Back then, I feel like you needed it. I don't know why I felt like I did. I don't know, girls, right? Us girls are so dumb when we're young. We're just like... Boys only like big boombas. I cosplayed Launch from Dragon Ball. So my friend, she cosplayed blue-haired Launch. I did the blonde-haired Launch because I'm already blonde. And then we met a Master Roshi. I think this is the last photo I have. So my roommate took this photo of me. Um, because I was having cramps. I was having cramps. And I just <laughs> didn't know what to do. I kept running around in circles and I was like... I'm grumpy and mad and I don't even know why and I just plopped on the floor and just like had my head down on the ground and he was just laughing at- he was laughing his head off, took a picture of me, and then he gave me a Tylenol. <laughs> I'm hungry but I'm not hungry, I'm mad, I don't know why I'm mad, and then I just plopped on the floor. Making your own shoes is hard. What I would do? I painted them. So these shoes for this cosplay, I painted them. I bought these really cheap shoes at Walmart. Um, and then I just painted them to look like uh, launches shoes. Here's me and my little sister. And that's my, actually my grandpa dressed up as Santa. At the time, I didn't know that. At the time, I did not even know that was my grandpa. This whole time, he lied to me. I was like, I, as a kid, I'm just like, why is my grandpa never around when Santa visits? Like, that's so weird, right? Took me a while to figure that out. Did you guys know that my grandpa was Santa Claus? That's crazy, right? You guys thought you thought you thought Santa was <laughs> was like old Saint Nicholas? No. My grandpa is actually Santa Claus. <laughs> but here's me. I'm here and I have this Super Saiyan 3 Goku Dragon Ball Z shirt on. You guys met my grandpa? That's crazy. Did you see him in the mall? Sometimes he's at malls, it's weird. I think that's all of them. I think that's all the photos I've saved. I- I stopped cosplaying, uh, Mostly because I was a little uncomfortable after I posted- So, okay. So, okay. Um, maybe you guys will understand a little bit. But, for example, uh... I- I made this cosplay right here, right? And... For me, growing up in a Mormon community, I was like, oh, like, I'm a strong, independent lady, right? Like, heck yeah, I'm, I'm strong, I'm, I'm being brave. Um, that's what I thought. But then I posted this on the internet. And then, and then, after posting this on the internet, I got some crazy messages. I got crazy things said to me. And then it just made me really uncomfortable and I stopped cosplaying. Well, I cosplayed for a while longer. But then after a while, I, I was just like, that's not really how I wanted my cosplay to be taken. So I kind of was like, I'm just not going to cosplay anything that shows my stomach. I'll just do cosplays now. Um, I'm just going to do hijab cosplays now. <laughs> just only that. <laughs> I posted on the internet, I didn't think it would like be popular or anything. It got really popular. And then my dad ended up seeing that. And then after my dad saw it, I was kind of like, this is really embarrassing. Now I need to delete this from the face of the internet because that's embarrassing. And then, um, <laughs> and then yeah, Mormons would like get really upset at me. Like they would see the picture and be like, oh, you're not Mormon. Like they'd be really upset. And then boys on the internet would comment just really weird things and yeah pretty much this whole cosplay i was like okay this is a lot for me to handle i don't think i had the confidence for this at the time i don't think i have the confidence for it now even but yeah i don't think i had the confidence for the ramifications of what this cosplay caused me <laughs> there is my uh show and tell for today i talked about my first cosplay what did my dad say about it um, my dad said that it was cool. He was like, oh, that was a cool cosplay. He's like, you do whatever you want. You're a grown woman. You can do whatever you want. Like I said, I didn't realize the consequences of that cosplay. Like, I didn't know 
that the Mormons would be so upset at me. I didn't realize I would get so many, like, messages, weird messages from boys online. I didn't realize that stuff. I didn't know. I was like 18, I think I was 18, 19 years old, just, well, I've been on the internet for a long time, but I never, I'm, I was like an internet lurker for a long time, right? Like, I've been on the internet for a really long time, but I was just a lurker. And then that was the first time I contributed to the internet. I put myself out there on the internet and I was not prepared. I was not prepared to put myself on the internet yet. <laughs> Honestly. I think the fact that I was even too embarrassed to show my dad is probably a good sign in and of itself that I probably shouldn't have made a cosplay like that. Probably should have made the cosplay a little, a uh, little, like, more coverage, I would say. Maybe someday I'll go back to cosplaying. If I do though, like I said, I think I wanna cosplay, like, there, I'm, I wanna show you, there's a, I wanna cosplay a character from Xenoblade. Her name is Mithra. She's my favorite. There's two versions of Mithra. There is a version of Mithra that is the normal version, and then there's a Super Smash Brothers version of Mithra. And I think if I if I cosplayed Mithra, I think I want to do the Super Smash Brothers version. I'll show you. So this is Mithra from Xenoblade. This is what she looks like. She's like my favorite character in the game. So this is the actual character model. I want to cosplay her. But I want to cosplay her in the Super Smash Brothers. So in Super Smash Brothers, she doesn't have cleavage and she has tights on. So I, I do want to make this cosplay. I think it would be so cool. I think like I want to like make these and then 3D print them. So 3D model these, 3D print them. And then like the dress would be so easy to make, I feel like. Especially the Super Smash Brothers version where like this one, it goes like that. But the Super Smash Brothers version goes all the way to the top. Oh, I guess they also have Santa. It's my grandpa. What the heck? My grandpa's in this game, you guys. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out. Goodbye, everybody.